What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 122 update. This week we get the Coziness System, which is a way to increase the well-rested buff in Icarus. We go into full details on that and how the furniture and decorations and trophies help affect that. We also go over the new Leica Animal Tree. We get a sneak peek of that and also of the Workshop Cot that's coming next week. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 122 brings the new coziness system. For a good night's sleep, we now have the coziness system, which basically uses your decorations around your base to increase the quality and length of your sleep. Week 122 is here and it's all about sleep. This incorporates your home decor into the quality and duration of your sleep, giving you a boost your invested time and effort into making your home more cozy. We'll also get some more information about the Leica and new talent trees for the mounts and tames and exciting update on space travel customs, relaxing the restrictions on traveling with your furry friends. Let's jump in and have a read. This week we have some notable improvements. Optimizations in tree stumps and building base, dramatically reducing the memory usage of these assets, which are some of the most common assets in the game. They updated the uh, tree fall audio, added the ability to sleep near an active air conditioner, heater, dehumidifier. So this means you can sleep near air conditioners, heaters, or dehumidifiers now. And they're allowing the steel barred building pieces to be crafted at the fabricator. So they added the ability for you to sleep near dehumidifiers, of course, heaters, or air conditioners, which whichever one you have, it has to be some kind of climate control. And all you have to do is have it kind of near where you're going to sleep, and it'll let you sleep now. And you'll see here underneath the campfire symbol, and it'll say campfire or climate control. So you could sleep near those. That's a pretty nice addition. And also, as mentioned in the fabricator, you can now make the steel barred stuff, which is the steel barred door, window, trap door, and railing, for example. And the major feature this week is coziness. And we're going to go over coziness, which was renamed from homeliness because in the UK and US, those mean two different things. <laughs> So they decided to rename the system to coziness to avoid confusion. So items such as trophies, rugs, decorations, and furniture now have an additional stat. And that's the coziness bonus. That affects your character's sleep quality and duration by adding a summarized impact to your sleep duration and quality. Which basically incorporates all the objects surrounding your bed. It don't have to be circling bed like a sacrifice circle. And they have a wide area. We'll show you how wide and tall that is. So let's check out coziness shall we so items that you craft like decorations or rugs trophies fish trophies doesn't matter if it's like a decoration it will mostly have a coziness bonus and that is a ton of items they're not every item as you can see here not every item has a coziness value it looks like the highest coziness items in the game currently is the beds and you can actually stack bags and the coziness with those as well Tables really help as well. Rugs like this also give you coziness. Stone statues will also give you coziness, like these little sandworm statues here. Certain chairs will give you coziness. Pictures give you coziness, and these all give you two apiece. Trophies give a varying coziness with the larger or more predator type trophies seem like giving you more coziness. Of course, these rugs as well. Geodes as well, they also give some coziness as well as some other seat decorations as well. So we're going to talk a little bit about coziness and the maximum coziness and the maximum we can find and also how far it goes. The very first thing we're going to mention is that you should be shooting for only 700 cozy, no more. Anything over 700 cozy does not give you any more effectiveness. You can get only a maximum of 300% effectiveness. As you can see here, we're going to move back a little bit. I don't know if that's intended or not, but the further we move back, the the lower the coziness gets kind of or higher it seems like but you cannot go over 300 percent we'll show you we're going to go up and to this little part right here for some reason it is about a thousand and seven i think about a thousand coziness there there it is and it's still 300 percent. so see, as you can see you cannot go over 300 percent effectiveness and or a duration of 3395 seconds which is just right at about 56 and a half minutes, you can have your well-rested buff, which is insane. 
Anything above 700 is pretty much just wasteful, unless you just already have that much coziness in your base. Shooting up to 700 should probably be your end goal. Now, I will say that it's not absolutely necessary to get up that high. 500 and even 400 is still a very, very good coziness and will last a very long time. 3,000 seconds, a little bit over 3,000 seconds for this 545 here. Even this 400 here with this sleeping bag is 2,000. 500 seconds so yeah it's time for you to go around do some decorating and put some stuff around uh you might want to put it towards the middle of your base and i'm going to kind of show you next we've made a secondary base to show you why that is and we got a bunch of decorations around here this is kind of what it looks like and that's getting us to the thousand right there in the middle we also have all these decorations up top which probably helps a lot with that so you may be asking yourself how far does coziness go well we're going to answer it for you it looks like coziness will go a total of seven from any direction so if you place down a bed coziness will range seven blocks this way to right here you'll notice that this one right here has four whenever you're standing right here and then eight whenever i go in this direction so it's seven blocks away from this one two three four five six and seven right here so that means that it will go seven blocks this way as well so that is from where you place the item seven all the way around and that actually includes so we have this one right here and we're going to go around go up and show you that it goes seven upwards as well And this one right here is this is seven blocks up which you can see from right here we're gonna go down and show you that we've separated it kind of with some concrete there and that it's seven floors from the very bottom where that bottom one is so you can go seven up and seven over either way any direction so that's 14 squares like for example in the middle here if we had filled it all the way in be seven over that way seven this way seven that way and seven that way a huge block for it to be able to be used it's really a you'd have to have a really large base for you to be able to miss out on some of your decorations and like mentioned you can go seven tall but if you had a building structure say if you could go 14 tall if you put all your decorations in the middle the seventh floor up then it would cover 14 stories or 14 blocks 14 wide, seven one direction, seven the other. Pretty much each way on the compass from where you place it. So it's ginormous, honestly. It's it's really, I don't think, unless you have a really big base like we have over there, that one over there, it's, it's getting quite close to that limit, but still, I don't know if it's even that big. But most of it seems like it's bleeding over and giving us like a thousand coziness, so. Huge radius, glad for that. And so far, what I've tested, every item I've placed, has the seven blocks doesn't matter if the sleeping bag or an art deco piece of course that may change in the future but for now that's the way it is so the last time that we slept in this bed it was at 1007 coziness with 300 percent effectiveness and you can see in the bottom left of our screen here we still got about 1050 seconds left roughly so we let it go a whole entire day night cycle and we still had a thousand seconds left of well rested at 300 percent which is crazy of course well rested as many of you will know is plus 30 percent maximum health plus 30 percent health regeneration plus 15 percent maximum stamina plus 15 percent stamina regeneration it reduces your food and water consumption by 15 percent this is huge imagine having that on you at all times you can pretty much if you boost your effectiveness and your coziness pretty high doesn't even have to be 300 percent it looks like it could go about 2,000 seconds and it's a whole day night cycle so but we'll sleep again show you we got that buff again for 3,000 seconds which is crazy 56 and a half minutes yeah that's coziness 
This week we also get the Leica Animal Skill Tree Preview. They wanted to show us a little bit about the skill trees for animals coming up in the Leica expansion or DLC. Leica will introduce individual skill trees for each mount or team that you own, as they will now earn their own XP, level up, and earn skill points you can invest. These skill trees have a mix of base stat boosts and unique perks, allowing you to invest in them to gain strength, speed, or agility, health, and more. Some of the special perks include buffalo extra carry slots, including an extra cargo slot, MOA faster walking while in water, or they're also able to walk in deeper water than before. The Tenaris significantly increased movement speed in exchange for carrying slots, and the Tusker reduced inventory spoil rate. With this new depth to mounts, keeping the permanently planet side feels wrong, but this is no longer the case as mounts and tames will be able to be shipped to space and then taken down to other prospects, allowing you to move them from mission to mission, base to base. Next week we are also getting the workshop cot, and this is a workshop item that you can bring down. It's a little cot that will have its own perks and buffs for you to keep the ultimate sleep hygiene and quality. We're going to skim over real quickly the change log. We've already went over everything in the new content section. Let's move on to the fix section, which is three things, which is also pretty much what they've already stated in the improvements. So let's just skip over to the future content section. Looks like they have a cart harvesting, watering, and seed plow variation and a snare trap. A little bit more about the tier four troughs and the cat and dog bowl submitting black, orange, and gray cat only. Something about an exotic affliction modifier and escalations, and an Arctic Explorer saddle. Looks like they're talking about an armored and desert saddle, and Deluxe leather and bear hide saddle. Talking about a Reaver. So we're getting a seed plow cart. Digs three dirt mounds in intervals determined by gameplay config, and plants seeds if it has it in its inventory. They're also talking about the watering cart and the harvesting cart, which harvests stuff. And that's really it for this changelog. And thank you so much to the late night crew, KHX, Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Rod Knob, Silver, John, Aaron, Steady Bob, Jim K72, Kristen, Jaybird, Fubar, Chris, Sky Reaper One, Metal Storm, Fabio, Valiant, Anthony, Micah, Wan Wizard, Harry Muff, Sam Police, Lolfinator, and Tyler. Thank you so much for being part of the Late Night Crew and for supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to our supporters as well. And that's it for this video. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Subscribing will get you weekly Icarus update videos just like this one. And we're also getting close to 4,000 subscribers, so subscribe if you haven't already. Help us reach that goal. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.